economics is like water system that water goes down to the lower level by nature. Marx wanted to explain capitalism, but economics is interested in goods and welfare. And it doesn't explain political, ideological systems. So mm -hmm. in that sense, mainstream economics is strongly related to capitalism, but it doesn't explain capitalism. Economics can explain many things, but the, the present economic system is not helping democracy, unfortunately, relative to other countries, uh, other totalitarian countries like Russia or China. The democratic world have been, has been very effective to make people, uh, income grow and democracy to be sustained. However, right now, democracy is in jeopardy because the capitalism or competitive system doesn't help this dilemma of income inequality. I thought capitalism with some progressive ideas uh, of social justice will make the democratic world countries to continue for some time. But recent occurrence in political system in the United States or some part of Europe make me, I'm not that, make me feel that I, I, I cannot be so optimistic. We are living on maternalistic basis and non-maternalistic things are produced like service, as services and goods. So it's natural that science based on facts of economic matters uh, help us understand the working of the economic system. And generally, we will be benefit from economics. Uh, the, the famous definition of economics is satisfying several multiple objectives by limited means. It's uh, by itself a good thing. But there are problems, and uh, I haven't written in my writing, but uh, the most the difficult problem right now is the problem of income distribution or equity because the recent unfortunate European-American surge of non-democratic or near-fascist uh, political system is uh, reacting to the inequity, inequality based by the price mechanism, which you might call capitalism. That is uh, the most interesting or in the question I was most involved in person. I was I started as a the theoretical economist in, in international economics, uh, mathematical or game theoretic and so forth. But after my sixties, I happened to help. Mr. Shinzo Abe, now retired uh, Prime Minister of Japan, and uh, advising what you call the engineering. Uh, it's first time I had the word, but that it's well done. That engineering economic phenomenon is very important and not uh, so simple. 
economics is like water system that water goes down to the lower level by nature. So there are several groups or roads that could uh, supplies and so forth moves and affect people. But the economic engineering is trying to make fences or trying to affect the movement of water by putting some forces or devices to that. And it is important sometimes to intervene in free individual action. However, most of the engineering involves some actors and actors have their own preferences, uh, their own objectives that certain type of facts, a certain type of in, uh, interference is difficult. For example, one of the international topic of today is Biden's plan to ask advanced countries to raise corporate tax above 15% or so uniformly. And this is the engineering example. Yeah. And if this device, right now, Ireland, for example, I had, uh, is making millions of profit by reducing its corporate tax rates. So that kind of uh, intervening in the economic system by lower corporate tax rates uh, will be prevented. But uh, if you, uh, if Biden plan or Janet Yellen Treasury succeed to make countries agree to have some convention to keep the corporate rate above a certain percent. However, Ireland is making a large profit and it would be difficult for other countries to persuade to persuade Ireland to observe these restrictions, unless there are many pork barrels and whatever for many benefits attached to that. So political actors' interests, sometimes representing its constituencies, will interfere the most desirable economic policy. So engineering is very difficult and situation making, which is my own so making the rules or the making the regime is one of my lifetime research topic. Making a certain rule compatible, incentive compatible to actors would be difficult. And even we can, in this example, persuade Ireland to raise taxes. Uh, there are many, so many Caribbean or else tax haven countries. So it is very difficult even certain idea is good. So th th this relationship between engineering and economic science is very interesting. And uh, sometimes I have, I had some slight opinion difference with my bosses and what should advisors do and so forth. Again, it's a matter of political economy. And that uh, is delicate questions. Uh, how to advise uh, your boss uh, in case of different, you have different opinions without losing the political uh,
Yes, common good. It's a uh, good example is like vaccine or mask. We have economics called public economics or economics of externalities. Yeah. Mask wearers think it's not a private choice, but it affects others and could be serious consequences. So learning some kind of external peace theory in public finance or economic theory would help people to wear masks. But in this matter, there are many tragedies of not understanding the simple facts or pretending not to be understanding. And in order, maybe I may add, uh, in order for some ideas, economics help, it's not just pure ideas. Peter Hall, Harvard University has a theory that the Keynesian economics after the Second World War didn't penetrate into some economic system. So my friend Masahiko Aoki, Great, uh, Masaki Kaoki said uh, economic policy or system cannot be grafted to other country, even though economic science are very well equipped, uh, sometimes political process or institutional situation, as well as uh, other culture, would affect to the, the penetration of certain ideas. It was thought economics is about money, price, something about variable goods and so forth. But uh, Gary Becker of Chicago extended economics to many other areas racial discrimination, marriage and so forth that anything it is a matter of choice and uh, some kind of scarcity or constraint can be analyzed by uh, economics technique very well so i think this was a success of the economic science so there are political economy i'm talking uh, politics can be analyzed like economics that people want to maximize the power or benefit or constituencies to try to maximize constituencies. And the legal process can be analyzed by the same kind of questions. But the, the accuracy here or the most difficult part of a difficult challenge that economics faces now is uh, about the income distribution. By technological progress, we saw to reduce misery and poverty. But now robot replaces many workers, for example, translators will take over professional tra uh, tra translating machines take over translators. So the income distribution became very, very skewed and the middle workers in the United States have very much difficulty. Their income doesn't progress in 10, 20 years very, very, uh, only a certain percent, while there are uh, big uh, playing area for advanced specialists on the internet and so forth. They earn very large amount of money. And this uh, is a problem because it created a 
economic, uh, political situations like Donald Trump situation that those people who were sat unsatisfied would like to have behind world or in Czechoslovakia or in Hungary, for example, half Nazi came into power because uh, middle income people, I think, had uh, very strong antipathy to the world. So the economics can explain many things, but the, the present economic system is not helping democracy, unfortunately, relative to other countries, uh, other totalitarian countries like Russia or China, the democratic world have been, has been very effective to make people, uh, income grow and democracy to be sustained. However, right now, democracy is in jeopardy because the capitalism or competitive system doesn't help this dilemma of income inequality. And uh, so this is the situation. Economics, it's not economics fault, but economics spend so much time on efficiency, efficiency in stock market, etc. And not considering the equity problem. And uh, next challenge to economics is to bring in equity program or fairness program more systematically than before. Right now, I think, even though I have have uh, strong enough solutions that if, say, macroeconomics uh, are combined with some kind of distribution considerations, uh, Tony Atkinson, for example, tried to use uh, user economic uh, quantitative tools and analytical tools to income distribution thing. And uh, under what circumstances certain economic, macroeconomic policy would affect certain type of people also. The, the present economics takes macroeconomics one thing or microeconomics another thing in order to have efficiency or maximum growth, you should do this. And the resulting income distribution, that should be very skilled or very cruel to a certain type of people. We should then use other income distribution device to correct the thing. But I don't know after this corona crisis and so forth that they in distributional things should be treated as a sort of addendum to the system. Some system, the economic system based on private property and market mechanism. And individual incentives and individual incentives are very, very important. So I'm not very optimistic about the future of China. If they suppress some kind of individual incentives, but anyway, that's a, a side of problem here. Anyway. Yes, that's. So that, that system is good, but it is creating really enormous inequalities in the world.
And I thought capitalism will sustain individual freedom, but we don't know if uh, income disparity is so cute to affect people. Uh, they may give uh, grants to create uh, undemocratic or even near Nazi system. Marx wanted to explain capitalism, but economics is interested in goods and welfare. And it doesn't explain political, ideological systems. So no. in that sense, mainstream economics is strongly related to capitalism, but it doesn't explain capitalism. trained in sort of neoclassical or analytical economics, basically, so very good. I'm not very good at uh, forecasting. Uh, I, I cannot make much fortune by investing in stock market well, even though I am interested in mechanics of the stock market. Uh, Work, so I cannot uh, okay. say, but China has at least one very good uh, advantage that uh, because of the mass of its trade, it's, uh, for example, trade or financial flows in the for world, it has, uh, even though the system is in efficient or sometimes uh, undemocratic, etc. I cannot imagine other one, but the pessimistic part of my answer is I thought capitalism with some progressive ideas uh, of social justice will make the democratic world countries to continue for some time. But recent occurrence in political system in the United States or some part of Europe make me, I'm not that, make me feel that I, I, I cannot be so optimistic. I am not optimistic, I said, because of the possibility of neo-fascist regime. Neo-fascist. Yeah. In Europe or in, in the United States. Fortunately, in Canada and in Japan, it's those serious moments we don't observe it. Mm. So the world may not be made to be optimistic in the sense everything will end well. There are many serious, now serious, Grounds in the world scene, I think.